Hello, I'm David Keller, and we've been looking at the book of Ruth for the last few days. We ended yesterday with Ruth demanding that Boaz act as her kinsman redeemer to restore the family name and perhaps property of her deceased husband. Boaz is eager to do so, but he must first work to overcome the potential claim of a kinsman even more closely related to Ruth than himself. When he's done that successfully, Boaz takes Ruth to be his wife, and she bears him a son. I love the 16th verse of the last chapter of the book. Naomi took the child, held him close, and took care of him. This is the Naomi who earlier had said, Don't call me Naomi, call me Mara, bitter. Not only is Naomi a proud grandparent now, something I can personally relate to, but the family name has been restored, and what a family tree is about to be created. They name the baby Obed. He'll eventually have a son, Jesse, who in turn will eventually have another son, David. And that's the David who will not only be the great king of Israel, but an ancestor of Jesus of Nazareth, the Christ. The book of Ruth was clearly written a long time after the events of the story took place. There's great providence and evidence of God working in the story as it unfolds, but it's in that rearview mirror look that makes the story so compelling. God's plan is being worked out in these lives, a plan that encompasses not just the well-being of one family, and not just the well-being of one nation, Israel, but the well-being of all humanity. Let's pray that the big picture of God's will be done today. And let's thank him for allowing us to participate in his work, to redeem his creation and call it back to him. May you find direction this day as you serve the Lord.